Hello again, Hot Wheelers and Super Deformed Collectors. Today we have the Dairy Dairy Delivery, number 12 of 100 that year of 2004. This is a first casting, apparently, or well, I assume that's what first editions means. It's part of the Blings line, although these wheels don't look very blingy to me. They're just giant. All right, so I looked up cartoon milk trucks. Couldn't find any really cool ones. Well, that one's really cool, actually. This is just plain old disturbing. This looks like something out of The Simpsons. And then that's just too clean. Right? Oh well. Let's see what Hot Wheels did on this guy. So, even though these are plain wheels, uh, at least they're recessed, so it looks kind of like a low rider or a drag vehicle or something. Or I don't know, some sort of custom ride. And then it's got nice little... They're not stripes. They're not flames. There's a fade, though, from orange to yellow to the border, and then some, what is that, orange back here, surrounded by black. So it looks like an Indian motif, Native American motif, sorry if that's offensive to people. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, oh, this one's got a metal base. All right, not all these blingy things do. It's got a copyright dairy delivery here, some exhaust sticking out there, and then uh, recess quite a bit, the wheels... So that grill and the headlights are coming through and they're metal. Okay, and there's also some bumps here in the casting, probably for some turn signals maybe. Uh, there's a little ridge here, probably like a chrome strip or something. And it seems to have a red set of windows that are translucent, but they're so small this you can't see anything in there. And then this is well printed, very nice. This, what are, backgammon, that's what this is. This is a backgammon board graphic. Okay, uh, big rectangular rear, nice door details here, and some recesses that look like they would make good taillights in the license plate area. Unfortunately, there's no depressions in the exhaust just because of the molding process. All right, well, it does roll being a Hot Wheels, obviously, and uh, hmm. I'm, <coughs> sorry. I'm not sure what kind of wheels I'm gonna do for this guy. Um, but I'll be back. And here we are with some original steel wheels for the Divco dairy truck. Uh, so, well, I'll show you the image first this time. Let's see, so we've got a classic image here. And yeah, you can see they're like steel, stamped steel wheels, but they have this like bump on them. And then there's six lugs, and then there's a, a center cap with more uh, bolts holding that on. So that's what I was going for. There's also like a whip dent or something. I'm not sure. It's indented there on the lip. So yeah, coming back to this. Now naturally because Hot Wheels has the wheels staggered, I had to change, make two different designs and try to make them proportionate in scale as well. Uh, I didn't uh, drill this apart. I don't like doing that because I literally put a drill bit through my hand doing that once and that's not a fun time. Okay, so you might ask how did I get the wheels in there? smart you know already but I basically made this center cap a separate piece the tires are also a separate piece so one could uh, essentially assemble the tire and the wheel on this side if you want drop it in here and then I push an axle the Hot Wheels axle the standard 0.7 millimeter one through the hole here and then on the other side I'll put in the tire and the axle and that will now be sticking out this side and I push the wheel into the tire and onto the axle. When all are centered, I then glue on these center, center caps. So that's how I designed these wheels and tires to work on such a deep recess. Because there's no way you could get it in otherwise, you know, because you gotta, you'd bend the axle. Or you'd have to drill that apart, which again, I don't care to do. So they are, you know, 3D printed resin wheels. And yeah, I cured it with UV, so it's very brittle. And when I took the support off, it took a piece of the plastic with it. Like all my 3D printed uh, projects, they're on Shapeways. They're very expensive, that, that website. But if you really love this uh, tuned vehicle, yeah, well, it's up to you to decide if it's worth the money. It's definitely expensive. Okay, well, I had some paint details there. There actually is some silver paint here. I don't know if these lights are in the correct order. It just made sense to me that turn signals on the edges. And then, uh, you know, just a little bit of 
just some you know, those bumps there. Nothing else though. Everything else is good enough for me. I'm fine with it. Oh yeah, my bad. It's over there. Oh, there should be a little black paint wash in that grill as well. Yeah, actually I did do with that. Okay, so let's look at a couple other uh, vehicles here. And here's a cool bunch of Divco trucks here. Pull up there. So Hot Wheels wise, uh, I have this old one I reviewed a while back. It's uh, one of their fantasy vans. What the heck is this thing? I did a video on this, repainting it. But I never showed the wheels that I designed for it. I'll do that later on. Uh, so this is one of the lame ones where it doesn't tell you what the thing is. <laughs> so I don't know what this... I think it's called the Quick Delivery. Yeah, and it had a Spider Woman graphic, you can still see the edge of the Spider-Woman graphic, so it's so goofy looking, I put this uh, Vallejo color shift paint on it, it's actually two color shifts, this one's a green to silver I think, and uh, the middle is like a purple to uh, green or something, it's, it's different from the edges, but anyways I also did 3D print these of my own designs, these are just simple wheels I've designed, but I kind of like them, uh, but these are reusing some tires here. I think these are Hot Wheels, the large Hot Wheels rubber real riders. But these are actually, I think, 143rd scale tires I've got off AliExpress. And then you'll see I'm using a bunch of poster mount putty to uh, have a camper on the rear wheels. So, whatever. We're not even talking about that today. <laughs> Sidetracked. Okay, well anyway, so Hot Wheels, you know, they don't really do anything to scale. So they're quite different. Yeah, the difference in the width. It's this is a pretty big Hot Wheels though. Okay. Uh, you're curious what would be it next to an actual True 64 kind of vehicle? So this is a Toyota Previa it's by GCD. It's a decent enough model, but, uh, not the greatest uh, because so I forget in my review. Like, there's something off about it. Mm, sorry, I can't remember. Something about the, maybe the door is on the wrong side or something? No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I can't remember, sorry. I can't remember everything I review. I can't even remember my own name. Alright, well, let's, uh, any idea there. Let's let this guy spin up its on its own. Coaster might be dead. No, it's just taking a while to start up. All right, well, this is a cool blings. Uh, it's a cool design. I know Hot Wheels does, you know, again do the um, realistic version of this dairy truck, but for some reason it doesn't appeal to me. But as a cartoon thing, uh, I'm all for it. It's very cool. In fact, uh, I'm gonna get the other ones, the other two. Uh, color variations, so do different wheels for those guys. Thanks for watching today, we'll see you in the next 3D printed video. Bye.